The aim of the project Will17 was to take a new look at the Northumbrian missionary Willibrod. Willibrod has a fascinating biography which spans early medieval Ireland, Britain, Frisia, the Frankish Kingdom and even Rome. And as I've shown in my introduction, Willibrod is primarily remembered as a missionary that is one of the many clerics who advanced the spread of Christianity between the 4th and 8th centuries in continental Europe. The project asked what Willibrod's role on the continent was beyond his missionary activity and which factors determined his success as bishop, abbot and monastic founder. One factor that determined the success of the project was my ability to pursue it at Trinity College Dublin. Scholarship on Willibrod has always been truly international and Trinity College provided an ideal starting point to pursue a project like this. I was able to expand my own academic network and to collaborate with scholars across Europe who are studying the early Middle Ages as well. Ultimately, the project also benefited a lot from the support of societies and communities, both in Ireland and on the continent, who supported my project from the start, especially the Willy Borders Bauverein here in Echternach and the County Carlo Museum in Ireland. In this case, one of the main goals was obviously to create a new interest in Willy Brod, who is known to some extent in Luxembourg and the surrounding regions, but I don't think that many people are actually aware of the extent of his biography and his very interesting career. And indeed, Willibrod and the foundation of Echenach represent a very important episode in the formation of early medieval Europe. On the other hand, studying the early Middle Ages forces us to reconsider our own ways of thinking about categories such as Europe, nations or religious change. In this way, studying Willibrod and Echenach offers us a new insight into our own cultural values. The main goal for the near future will be to publish my PhD thesis as a book and I hope that I'll be able to pursue research on Willibrod and Aschnach in the near future. This research can only be undertaken in collaboration with other scientists, especially from the discipline of archaeology, so I hope that in the future there will be many more projects and opportunities to do research on Willibrod and Aschnach.